Hey everyone, I hope you guys have had a great week so far and a great weekend as we're halfway through it. On today's vlog, I wanted to bring you guys up to speed on some events that I will be at coming up here in the future. And I also wanted to talk about constructive criticism and critiquing. All that on today's vlog. All right, so like I said, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I just got my hair did today. <laughs> so I thought I would take some time while I've got some free time and sit down and shoot this vlog here. Here in Daytona Beach today, it's around 75, 77-ish degrees, so it's getting really nice, really comfortable outside. And of course, we're ramping up into the 80s and the 90s, where it's almost unbearable here with the humidity. But of course, that's when beach sessions start ramping up. I'm already getting a lot of inquiries, inquiries, inquiries. <laughs> anyway, those are starting to come in, so I'm starting to book into July, August already. Uh, June is, uh, I don't want to say a lot filled up, but probably halfway filled up right now. Uh, very busy during the summer, and I'm always thankful and grateful for that. Uh, booked two weddings recently in the past couple of days. So this, week, this season, or this year I should say, is turning out to be a very busy year for me. I'm always grateful and humble and thankful whenever I'm selected to be a part of a bride and groom or couple's wedding day. I, 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 to me, that's just an honor and, and I appreciate everybody that books with me, I really do. A um, Couple of events that are coming up. Ooh, let me say that again. A couple of events that are coming up <laughs> that I'm gonna be a part, at, a part of. Gosh, man, I'm whew, just off today. Anyway, March 10th, uh, the estate on the Halifax here in the Port Orange area is having their spring event or spring on the Halifax, I think is what they call it. So I'll be showcasing video footage. I'll be representing wedding videography and all of the video footage that you see there at the estate will be footage from the estate from where I've worked at. That is one of my, if not my favorite venue to work at. The place is absolutely beautiful. I love being there. I love working there. And like I said, March 10th, I will be there showcase in my wedding videography and if you do come you might get a discount on your package don't know just saying <laughs> then of course it's a great time to, for a Q&A session as well April 28th I'll be at the Ocean Center here in Daytona Beach it's another wedding show I'm, I'm a part of thankful and grateful to be a part of that and looking forward to that one that's gonna be it's the first time we've ever had it there had it at the Ocean Center so looking forward to a great turnout looking forward to meeting a lot of brides doing a lot of Q&A time I love that, I love answering questions, and uh, of course you'll see a lot more uh, wedding footage there. Um, so the next topic I wanted to talk about just for a few minutes is constructive criticism and critiquing. And I know you're thinking, what? And where I'm going with that is I'm not talking about critiquing others, I'm talking about critiquing yourself. And just wondering, those of you in the industry or if you're in another profession, whatever profession that is, do you critique and constructively critique yourself? So I'm, I'm the kind of person that I'm very driven. I'm, I want to learn as much as I can all the time and just want to get better and better and better. So if I photograph a wedding, whether I film a wedding, whether it's a couple, I'm on the beach, whatever I'm doing, I always come back afterwards and start analyzing each piece of footage or each photograph. So let me take the photograph side for a second. So I'll jump into Lightroom, I'll look at the ISO, I'll look at what aperture, aperture speed I was at, I will look at what f-stop I was, I was at, or shutter speed, I guess, aperture and shutter speed I guess is what I should say. I'll look at those settings, I'll look at the image and, I, and I'll think, you know, considering the lighting, should, have been, should it have been a, maybe f5.6 versus f4, should it have been a, you know, another f-stop higher, you know, 7163, what was the shutter speed, could that have been different? So I'm one that I'm constantly critiquing myself. Could that image have been better? How could it have been better? And I'm just one that's always, always wanting to learn. That's just me. That's how I've always been for a while. On the film side, you know, do I shoot in 24p? Do I shoot in 60? Do I shoot in 120? And, and when and why? You know, those are questions. Those are good questions to ask. You know, sometimes I, I mix it up depending on what's going on. But again, I'm wanting the best look. Um, for you, for your day, for your wedding film that I can that I can I can do. Um, in terms of in terms of lighting, I've got a light on me right now, lighting this video. I've got one to the right of me here. You know, during the weddings, should I have more than two lights? Should I have three lights? Should I just have one big massive spotlight in the back? Again, things that, that I think about 
position of the lighting, you know, constantly, I guess the point that I'm getting at is I'm constantly critiquing myself and I hope that you are doing the same as you're, as you're moving through your journey of whatever you're doing. I just, I don't want to be boastful. I feel I'm pretty good in, in multiple areas right now. Multi-nerdness, as my wife says. <laughs> but like I said, I'm one that I always want to get better and better and better. There's not, to me, there's not like an end goal where you get this far and you're like, okay, I, I'm the master at so-and-so. No, we're always learning. We're all, I talk to other people in this industry, whether it's on the photo side, the video side, and the thing that I've said on, in videos and in my blogs on my website is we're all in the same basket, constantly learning. And to me, that's just what it's all about. That's what I'm about. So just want to throw that out there. If you've never done it, I challenge you to do so. Critique and constructively criticize yourself and your work, and it'll only help you get better and better. So again, that's for today's vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Keep uh, a heads up on those two events, uh, March 10th at the estate, April 28th at the Ocean Center, and I actually may, I may jump in one next weekend uh, in Deltona, so I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. So anyway, hope you guys had a great weekend. I'm having a great weekend here, and I think I'm going to go grab something to eat and uh, kick my feet up and relax a little bit, and then I'll jump back into the editing here. So you guys have a great weekend. I'll catch you on the next vlog. Have a good one, guys.